Hi, this is Daniel Nugent, painter and decorator. Um, I'm faced with this situation. So this is a small bathroom, very small bathroom, no ceiling fan. Um, so the only ventilation you've got is this small window here, and that's the problem. But also, whoever originally painted this um, never sort of did a mist coat, so it hasn't bonded to the plaster, the original plaster. So over the years it's been painted over, painted over, built up, and then you get things like this. So you can see, you know, I can do that. Loads of craters on the wall, loads of debris. As you can see, like loads of debris. So what I'm initially doing first is scraping it all back as much as I can. So just try and get every bit of loose off you can. And that'll be the first job. Just keep going all directions. And then what I'll do after that, when it's like this, so I've scraped, you can see already a lot of it here. Um, I'll probably give it a light sand over. And then I'm going to use something called peel stop, which I'll show you in a bit. So here we have it. This is the peel stop. So as you can see, this is water based. Um, it's like a whitey sort of, it's a clear sealer when you put it on, but it's like a milky whitey substance. You can see in there and on the end of the brush like that. But it does dry clear. Um, so this, um, it's a binding, um, primer so it's, it seals all the cracks and crazing so this is crazy and it's just you can see it's just well, i'm thinking in the past this has been done with like a solvent base and it's just not worked out and it's just honestly you can't when it's like this you you have to start from scratch and you have to use things like this first before you do any like filling because this is now like the surface of the moon is full of craters even though i've scraped it off sanded it down smooth um, as much as I could just to get any like edges off but the thing with this now you've exposed it more you'll find that these edges here will start lifting again so this glues down the old paint edges and anything sort of chalky so but I wouldn't say this is like still quite a dry plaster um, and as I say when it was originally painted it wasn't done very well so it was it was ne never like a mist coat sort of onto the plaster so it didn't bond and with all the steam in here and stuff and no ventilation it's just adding to the problem so i'm going to paint the whole of these walls every bit of them in this uh peel stop so i just wanted to show you what it looks like when it goes on so yeah nice clear so it soaks right in and what that will do now is that in two hours time that'll be ready to go and it will obviously hold back all these edges it will make them solid so that won't keep lifting and as i say i've scraped as much as i can off now with a lot of scraped it all dry and as you can see there's a lot of it that's come off a lot of debris everywhere um so yeah i wanted to show you what it looks like when it goes on and um wash your brushes out in and rollers out in water and stuff but you can see now that's getting a nice that's soaking right in straight away it's already kind of like feeling like well you know this is all about preparation things like this these sort of you know you're always going to come across problems especially in bathrooms um and this will never go away unless you, you kind of do this because it's doing the right thing um, you could have it like re skimmed or whatever, but that costs a lot of money. So, yeah, get it all back to where you can, get the old peel stop on, and then what I'll do after this, I'll skim it with Easy Fill, sand it down, obviously put like a plaster primer over it, and then do my two coats of a finished high performance um, durable mat. So, um, because the customer wants a mat finish, so I'm thinking you know a nice durable mat on there sorted right so now the peel stop has hardened off and i've skimmed it with easy feel um all the craters and now i'm sanding it down with a merca sander so um 
just to smooth out all the all the surfaces get a nice even surface ready for the um, Opti Optiva primer so Ticarilla do a Optiva primer which is a plaster primer and you can apply it straight onto plaster neat it's an acrylic based paint um, I believe Wix do one you could probably get a crown one etc etc so I wouldn't put on anything like a normal mat or anything on here if you do if that's all you got then really thin it out you know use it as a mist coat because treat this now as like new plaster basically before you put on your two top coats of um, like a durable paint so yeah use it as a base coat if, if you're going to use just a normal mat water it down probably like an 80 20 something like that um, percent so 80% paint 20% water thin it out a bit and then get it on there let it dry and then put your two top coats on you might have to do a little bit of fine surface filling in between so um, yeah let's go for it so once rubbed down as you can see now nice and flat um, so yes yeah, so we've got the peel stop first then the filler, rub down, and now I'm using this Optiva primer. So this is an actual priming paint. So it's not, not an actual paint, it's a primer for walls. But if you can't get hold of it, um, Wix do it. Wix do a plaster primer. I suppose it's a similar type of thing. So I'm gonna put this all over the walls now, and then um, it, when it's dry, it will be ready for my two coats of, um, yeah like a durable paint a bathroom paint so you know either like a durable mat or an anti-fungicidal sort of paint um so i just want to show you the primer it goes on like a white um and it's quite thin so you don't need to thin this out it's already sort of mixed to the right consistency and um, once that's on i'll stick a coat first coat of a uh, sort of durable paint then I'll do a bit of fine surface filling if I need to here and there. Then touch up them bits of filler, final coat of paint, and then uh, yeah, job done. So I will show you next when I'm putting on the uh, the um, actual colour. So there we go, folks. Um, walls all prime now. So that's just going off as you can see, but already looking a lot better, a lot better. So. I know now that this is going to hold, okay, so as I say, it's all in the prep, never let anything put you off, if you see a surface like that, don't panic and think, oh, we need plasters, we need this and that, always just, you know, think of a solution, there's never a problem in decorating, there's always a solution, and it's just getting around it and knowing what to do, that's always simple, so as I say, you know, the, the peel stop, the Optiva primer, um, you know, as I say, filling in between, now what I'll do is I'll put, start putting a coat on my ceiling because that's fine, nothing wrong with the ceiling. Probably stick an undercoat on the woodwork. Then once this is dried off a bit later on, I'm going to put a first coat of um, the colour on, on the walls. Right, and now we'll see how it all looks. So, folks, on goes the colour. So this is Dulux Mossy Stone, but I've had it mixed into a high performance uh, matte so it's durable wipeable and all the rest of it because the customer wanted a matte finish in here not a sheen so i just want to show you how good it's going on and how good it's covering so this is actually ticarilla high performance vinyl matte um as i say it's as good as the dulux heritage because look over the white look how good it covers that's one coat solid um Although I'll always give everything two coats, you know, minimum two all the time. So this is that the walls that were really bad. Now, as you can see, when I put this first coat on, nothing's coming off. I'm really pulling on the roller and they're solid prepared walls. Um, when it dries, there might be the odd little crater here and there. I can see a couple bits there. So I'm going to find surface fill that these bits. Um, rest of it's looking okay. Rest of it looks quite solid and good. Um, but yeah, any little craters like that, I'll put the uh, Red Devil like a, a lightweight filler on because it's really surface sort of stuff. Let it dry. Bit of that primer on again, the plaster primer. Then go again, touching it in with the colour while I'm second coating, like second cutting in all the walls. So um, yeah. 
uh, I'll we'll do that now and then we'll look at the finished product so all the walls are first coated as you can see ceiling second coated now that's done walls first coated and filled up so I've put a very light skim of this fine surface filler on only in a few places where I saw craters so it's this red devil one time filler it's like a lightweight dry dryish kind of ready mix filler but yeah just in a few places most of it's all right but a few places I saw slight craters so yeah, I've sand padded it down and now I'm going to second coat. So when I cut in, I'm going to touch all this in with the brush and then roll it all again and then you can see the final result. So there we have it, the final coat. And as you can see, window seal, everything is solid. Lovely looking room now. Really nice. So, you know, nice colour, goes with the tiles. So that second coat all done, drying out. And uh, so that, that's basically the process you have to go through if you want to make it um, a proper solid job. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more hints and tips and uh, see you again soon. Cheers.